Write the molecular ionic and net ionic equations for when aqueous solutions of lithium sulfate and calcium nitrate are mixed. So we're starting off with two separate aqueous solutions. Then we're going to mix those solutions. Once they're mixed, what's the corresponding molecular ionic and net ionic equations? Okay, so the molecular equation just corresponds to when we leave all of the substances with their full molecular or empirical formula even if those substances in actuality break up into ions in solution. Okay, so we're starting off with, you can think about at the instant in which the two solutions are mixed, we've got lithium sulfate. So lithium is an alkali metal. Its ion will be Li plus. Sulfate is SO4 2 minus. So as an ionic compound, we've got Li2 SO4 aqueous. And then also calcium nitrate. So calcium is an alkaline earth metal. So the corresponding ion would be Ca2 plus. Nitrate is NO3 minus. So Ca NO3 2 aqueous. Okay, now in actuality, right, these are strong electrolytes, ionic compounds. Th these are fully broken up into ions. But in the molecular formula, we just leave these full chemical formulas here. All right, so the solutions are mixed, and now the ions can interact. And what results? Okay, well, the Li plus ions interact with the NO3 minus ions to give lithium nitrate. Okay, but is this aqueous or perhaps this compound is insoluble? We check the solubility chart. All nitrates are soluble in water. So this is aqueous. Okay, now we've got calcium 2 plus ions interacting with SO4 2 minus calcium sulfate. All sulfates are soluble with these exceptions, one being the calcium 2 plus cation. So this is insoluble. This is going to be solid. Okay, now we're not done. We need to balance this. So let's see. Two lithiums on the reactant side, one on the product side. So let's put two here. So this is the molecular equation. Okay, now to construct the ionic equation, we just break up any aqueous compounds into ions if they're strong electrolytes. But for the case of the precipitation reactions we're studying in this chapter, we're strictly dealing with ionic compounds anyway, all of which, if they're aqueous, are strong electrolytes. So with these precipitation reactions, anything that's aqueous, we want to break up into ions for the ionic equation. So we've got two lithium plus one ions, aqueous, an SO4 2 minus aqueous, a Ca2 plus aqueous, two NO3 minus aqueous, two Li pluses, two NO3 minuses, and a calcium sulfate solid. Okay, so that is the ionic equation. Now, to get the net ionic equation, we just come to the ionic equation and cancel any spectator ions. And what's left is the net ionic equation. Okay, and there's the net ionic equation.